walkthrough video of the Direct PTT PC GPS asset tracking software. Uh, this software comes standard with every Direct PTT account. Uh, you get one user uh, free with every um, company account that's customized with the encrypted server and your custom company programming comes uh, one user of PC dispatch free. Anything above that costs about $3 a user. Um, now that's just a login. As many people could download this on as many computers as possible uh, and log in from that one user. But if you have three users, you can have three different people logged on at once. And you use this to track your radios, track your trackers, see speed stamps, really anything that has to do with dispatching can be done uh, through this software. So I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of some of the, uh, just, just brush up on the initial features that you get. Um, many more come with this software, but these are uh, the most popular. So let's get started. Um, you'll see uh, a trucking company out of Milwaukee. This is uh, Milwaukee Freight and Logistics, I believe. They um, thank you for them for allowing us to use their company account for a day to do a walkthrough of the software. Uh, you can see all of their trucks and users out during daily operations during the day throughout uh, the city of Milwaukee. So here's settings. Uh, this is where you'll be able to change uh, basically what you see when you drag over each user. You can see their last location, their speed, uh, where they are on the map, and you can change drop down from base. And I will show you this right here. See track speed, you can see fastest speed, the top speed, medium speed, um, all different options for tracking your speed and location. See base, others, uh, this is essentially just the look of your, and the design of your interface. Uh, changes the font, the colors, uh, really anything that, ha if you're trying to organize kind of what each each dispatcher sees, if it makes it easier for them, uh, there you could do that. And you can change the type of map you use as well, depending on what you are most comfortable with. Here you can see all your active users in yellow. This is different from groups, but this is active users. These are users that are currently active, um, but are not powered on at the moment. So not in use, all the ones in yellow are in use out in the field. Another place to see all your active users and offline users as well. Those can be organized into any group that you'd like. Uh, and you can access that through monitor groups, uh, through group settings, um, everything like that. Here's your call logs. This is where you can actually see uh, the recorded conversations that your dispatchers have with your drivers. You could use this for insurance purposes, uh, for liability purposes. Maybe there was a legal issue or um, a car accident that you need to submit to car insurance or a uh, health ex accident, you know, a health emergency that you need to submit to your health insurance company. Uh, here you can actually access uh, logged and a database of conversations with the time that it happened, the time and the date. Um, it'll show you if you scroll down this way. Um, you can see the name of the user, the ID, the speed they were going when it happened, obviously the direction, the elevation, uh, and you can see exactly when it happened and their location through the latitude and longitude. And you could also use this group PTT button on the side. Uh, your dispatcher could use that to actually uh, push to talk to any of its groups and users throughout the day. So this could also be used as a radio as well. Here you can switch the view. We zoomed out a little bit. I'll show you this again. Change the view. And here is Another uh, place to see the data that you see below, latitude, longitude, time at which they were going, speed at which they're going at. Um, another way place to see is just by scrolling above the user and it'll show you that directly. Zoom out, see the whole map, zoom in. Here you can view your different groups change group that you're talking to, whatnot.
here is where you can actually uh, see the route. So we have route recording as well. So the purpose is that you need to be able to see the uh, voice and the calls that were between the dispatcher and the driver and the groups. Uh, you could actually see the routes uh, recorded um, into the database as well. This is saved for how much time you need. I could actually upload it to a flash drive, into a file, anything. Uh, and this is uh, where all the data that is uh, recorded daily during your operation is stored and you could search it by those times that you see below. Here you go. This is the recorded route that this user took. User 12818 started at um, March 28th at 9.33 in the morning, ended at 13 o'clock, which is uh, 1.03 p.m. on the same day. And here you see the amount of time it took, how long they stopped for, how long they were driving for. And this is all the recorded calls that the dispatcher and the driver shared. This one was a quarter of a second. This conversation was eight seconds. And again, just because I may have pulled your attention away, this is the route in total. From group festivals, user 12818 on April 3rd, uh, April 28th, sorry, of 2023 at 9.33 a.m. They started this route and it took them two hours and 58 minutes to drive this route. And these are all the conversations. You could export it. You could skip to the last. There you go. That's where you could access your database, change the map. Here's a cool feature as well. You could actually, just like you can in Google Earth, uh, drag the little person icon uh, to a user and see exactly what they were seeing at that point in time. Now, we don't have cameras on people. That's not how this works. You could actually just use this to say you're a landscaping company or a plowing company uh, and you have a commercial contract to do a strip mall's parking lot of plowing. Now, actually, this might have been uh, what this actually may have been the case with another company. You see a, a pile of snow right here. You could actually set a show your um, drivers uh, exactly. You can you know drop that person right on the area that you're going to be working on. You could show your drivers exactly the area that they're going to be working on. You could use that obviously for insurance purposes or for investigative purposes. If you're if a driver maybe did something wrong and you need to be able to see what they were doing at that time, um, you could see actually the area in real time, in real view of, of where they were. This is geofencing. If you see the mouse on the top, you could actually create lines um, on the map that give you alerts if that driver crosses the line. So, and you can make options for those, those boundaries as well. So say um, a driver is driving down a, a dangerous highway in a storm, you can create a geofence uh, along the lines of the road. So, you know, if they go over the road, it instantly um, alerts your dispatchers or you can use it for routes where the drivers are supposed to be on a very strict route. And if they take the route off to maybe get lunch or, you know, do some personal shopping or maybe see a loved one, um, it will alert the dispatcher when that driver goes off route. So you can uh, keep your drivers more accountable and more safe. And you can draw it hands free in a line. You could add flags. Um, sort of certain general areas. You can obviously use different shapes and you can drag around and you could export those routes as well that people are taking. Here you can see that information again that we listed below, latitude, longitude, time at which it happened, direction and speed, all recorded, all stored in the database. Here you can use group ETT, all calls, so calling to specific groups, calling to everyone, one dispatcher to all. You can click specific users and talk directly to them.
here's some more options. So force to join, uh, you could click a user and force them to join into a new group in real time. Say there's an emergency in that group uh, is working on the emergency and you need a few more people, a few more hands on deck, uh, click those users, force to join the group. You could kick users out of the conversation. Um, you could break it down. You could, you could dissolve the group in real time if need be. Uh, you could export the tracking of that user or you could put lone worker time, which is essentially an SOS function. If, if a worker is alone in a dangerous area, maybe it's very hot um, and you need to make sure that they're you know, conscious. Some people pass out in, in the blistering heat, especially when they're driving in a car that maybe the AC is broken or they're on a dangerous construction site or they are working an excavation site and they're underground um, alone. You could set lone worker, keeps a very more micromanaged view of them if they go offline for over two minutes, uh, it'll alert the dispatcher and say, uh, and offer a man down function so that dispatcher can reach out and make sure that worker's safe. Uh, if they're not, they can get their, again, location, their longitude and latitude and send somebody out for help or alert emergency services. So that's uh, a great feature when it comes to keeping your drivers or your users or your employees or your security guards, uh, patrolmen, anything that you <clears throat> would like to talk in a team environment. Um, this that this dispatching software really offers um, a great amount of features to keep your employees safe and accountable uh, during daily operations. Scrolling through the group some more, monitoring groups, another feature that we offer. This is where you can save commands, set shortcuts for your dispatcher. That's up to them. It's up to you. If you have certain um, shortcuts that you'd like your drivers to be able to, or your dispatcher to be able to use in order to uh, gain certain functions and features, that's important as well. Stun feature. This is again, if say you have a disgruntled employee or somebody you just simply don't want talking in the group, you could actually, your dispatcher could actually stun them. Uh, say they're distracting others within the group and they're trying to uh, get a message across or there's manager and administrator that's trying to talk and the group is just goofing around um, and distracting everybody from the message that that administrator is trying to transmit to everyone that's trying to dispatch. Um, you could actually stun users in the group so that they can't talk for an allotted period of time, whatever that administrator sets. Dynamic groups, that's real-time groups. Again, say there's an emergency, a spill, a car crash, or <clears throat> um, a patrolman is is uh, working, you know, a site where something dangerous might be happening, or an ambulance is uh, is following up on a call that was, the emergency call that was called in. You could actually create a dynamic group for all those people that are on site uh, in real time so that all those people can communicate on the fly. Again, loan worker time, SOS function, keep your guys safe. But as a whole, um, this is a very brief overview of the PC dispatch software. Just some of the main features that are used uh, every day by our, our dispatchers that use our software. Uh, if, if you would like or have any more questions, please submit a form on our website uh, for a callback or give us a call at our main line, 855-396-5450. Uh, and ask for an expert to help you guys. Uh, we are happy to answer any questions. Uh, you could also buy this software uh, and track assets. So shipping containers, um, trailers, you know, generators that you might, you, maybe you're a relief effort company and you have hundreds of generators that you need to keep track of that you rent out. You could buy trackers and access the same software just without the PTT function, uh, same tracking software. So that comes as an option as well. Uh, please feel free to call us and ask us about other features that are offered by the software. It is a very robust software that we developed um, for you guys in mind. We know that every company needs different things. So we have hundreds of features to tailor to directly to your operations. Please email us, uh, fill out a contact form or call us at 
396-5450, and we will be happy to help. Uh, thank you, and thank you for being here. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day.